Hello guys, welcome to or back to my channel. Are you dirty? I'm gonna hold on. Welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Aubrey if you're new here. If you are new, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram. I always link it down below, but I'll leave my name on the screen. Okay, so today I wanted to do a little bit of a different video than I normally do. I don't know if all of you know, but a little background on me. I love fashion. I went to FIT, the Fashion Institute of Technology here in New York City, which is where I live. So I love luxury items. I love budget items. And I like kind of figuring out how to do both. So I spend some time on TikTok as most of us do. And I see a lot of these DHK hauls, reviews, kind of designer dupes. So I wanted to do a little bit of a deep dive myself, order a few things off of DHgate, and see how it is. So a little insider scoop because I have kind of been on the other side of some of these influencer things. You would be surprised at how much, how many of your favorite influencers um, are shopping on DHK. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. I feel like I'm talking too much. I'm gonna just get into it. So, the most popular item that I saw on TikTok that everybody got is the Prada re edition bag. I picked one up, and the reason I, you know, was kind of against buying the real Prada bag, this is just a nylon bag. Like, it's made of nylon, it's not made of leather. The materials are not worth the price. And I'm not gonna lie, it's the same, <laughs> okay? It's the same. I can tell you, I compared them, they are the same. So, I will leave a link down below if you want the, you know, style, but you don't wanna spend the price. China, okay? So, this little pink bag came with this strap, and it also came with a side strap. It has the little AirPod case or whatever, I put AirPods in this, I don't know what it's really for. Um, and I will say, I'm really glad that I didn't buy the real item of this pink Prada bag because I'm already over it, <laughs> you know? I love pink, but I think this style is not my favorite. So I wanted to kind of see how I would feel and if I did feel like I wanted to buy the real one. And I'm glad I didn't because I'm over this bag. I don't really wear it very much anymore. The next item was a bit of a fail because I love these tote bags, the Christian Dior tote bags, and they have so many styles. I wanted so many styles, but they're thousands of dollars. So I wanted another style and I saw that they had this, which I thought was so fun. It's so like, I wouldn't wear this all the time, so I didn't want to pay the full price for it. So I saw it on DHgate, thought, okay, let's do it. And this one was a bit of a fail. The fabric looks great, but it's just printed screen. This is embroidered on the real one, and it's just printed. It also has a very weird inside. I will say this was like 30 bucks, so I didn't expect it to be amazing, but it's just like not great. There's a zipper in here, which the real one does not have a zipper. It's fully canvassed inside. This also has like satin lining on the inside, which is not what you know the real one has yeah and it has pockets which the real one does not it does make the bag like more functional like if you were someone who really wanted like pockets and stuff this would be good and it is really cheap and it has a very beautiful print however it was a fail let's move on to the next thing they have literally everything you could ask for on dhgate which i didn't realize they have literally <laughs> home clothing bags everything and i saw this i don't even know if chanel makes this but i'm obsessed with little mirrors i collect like little vintage um compact mirrors and i do have a chanel one and so i saw this hand compact mirror or it's like a hand mirror and i actually haven't seen chanel make this so i thought it was really sweet really cute wanted to pick it up it's like it was like five bucks or something. Like this is what I'm talking about. DHgate is so cheap. And I get why people on TikTok are just buying this stuff because it is so cheap and it looks really great. Two more things that I wanted to try out on DHgate because I wanted to do one from kind of every 
sector because they do have a lot of different things. I wanted to like put it to the test. And so I picked up a shirt. So designer t-shirts are not really my cup of tea. I don't have any designer t-shirts um, because that's just not where I would want to put my money. I like accessories. If I'm doing clothing, I like more statement pieces, things like that. So I picked up this little Gucci or Fucci t-shirt because I thought it was just freaking adorable. I love the little shape with the little diamonds. I have not seen the actual authentic one of this. It does feel nice quality. It was super cheap, really cute. I got it oversized. This is just like a bed t-shirt for me, but the little sheep is freaking adorable. I love the colors. And the sheep is like embroidered or patched. The diamond little things are like 3D. So it does feel like a nice t-shirt. And I think it's just adorable. Okay, then I wanted to try out a shoe option. So I love shoes, but I live in New York City your shoes get beat up especially if you're wearing like heels to dinner they just things get beat up so i do have authentic luxury shoes and i find myself not wanting to wear them all the time because i don't want to beat them up here in the city so and that's not how i want to be when i spend money on my luxury purchases i do like to wear them use them they're meant to be loved they're just items so use them however I just subconsciously don't reach them all the time. So I wanted to try out, ooh, I wanted to try out a shoe that I have been wanting. I wanted to see if I would wear it enough so that I could buy the real version. I got this pair of Manolo Blahnik heels. I got the very small heel version because this is not, if I was gonna buy the real one, I would get the taller one. Um, I got the blue and it is honestly pretty freaking stunning. The satin looks gorgeous. The label looks right. Um, yeah, it's a good dupe, it really is. It's not even a dupe, it's a good copy. It really is. I'll link these down below because I know they are just really expensive, but they're so beautiful. So these are gonna be my beat up going out pair of shoes and I'll keep my luxury ones for a little bit nicer places. Okay, the last DHgate thing that I wanted to try which if you live in New York City, you know, like Canal Street, people are putting out fakes everywhere. And the biggest fake of anything that I see is the Cartier Love items. So I have on my wish list a Cartier Love bracelet. However, they are freaking expensive, okay? It's not in that tax bracket yet. So I wanted to pick up Cartier bracelets, I have been wearing these, testing them out, and I have some final thoughts. I got the large Cartier bracelet and the small Cartier bracelet. Cartier bracelet. They are, they were super freaking cheap, and I've worn them in the ocean, in the pool, in the shower, and I haven't taken them off because they actually do come with the little screw. I screwed them on and now I can't find the screw and I can't take them off. I'll find it eventually. I haven't looked that hard, but they've been on for a while and they have not turned my arm green. However, they're very, very clearly to me, non-authentic. So I do have the authentic Cartier ring here. And I thought this would be good because I can kind of compare them. So the Cartier items are solid gold. So they are a bit malleable. When you start, when you get them, they're very shiny like this. However, very soon into wearing them, they start to turn more into a brushed gold because you get little, honestly, they're scratches and it starts to go more brushed gold. However, this, I, these fake items are just like steel or whatever so they don't go brushed gold it's not scratching and it's not turning that brushed gold it's staying a very shiny gold and at the corners I can see that it's turning that like the gold is going away if you can see the difference yeah okay so see this has turned more into a brushed gold and this remains very very shiny and on the corners it is starting to turn a little bit so 
This was probably 15 bucks and the real one is about 6,000. So it's not a bad option if you want the style. However, authentic Cartier is the way to go. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, so I feel a little like tea spilling in this video. I think DH Gate has its place and luxury items have its place. This was just for fun, but if you liked it, let me know. And please subscribe if you haven't followed me on Instagram and I will see you in my next one.